Aaron, what has been the single most significant barrier to broader adoption of data governance? Uh, I'm not sure there's a, a single most significant barrier, but some significant barriers, multiple, would be, again, uh, the lack of software to accommodate all these great notions of uh, data politics, data administration, information governance, uh, the information agenda, whatever you want to call it. There's these great concepts, but the software hasn't caught up with it. Um, on the other hand, we need to do mass, uh, data governance in order to execute on BI, to execute on master data management, and so on. Uh, some of the other barriers to the adoption it would be, again, funding, because it costs money to hire people, especially full-time quality people who are going to be your leaders. Uh, it costs money to put together business processes that deal with master data, that deal, uh, we're talking about master data governance in particular, and so the funding and the lack of tools to help us get to the next stage have been significant barriers for just about everybody that I talk to because they end up spending a lot of money to build something custom to execute on the notion of data governance because it's not quite there yet from the, from the market.